These are the top seven No, they're the voice. What voice? The announcer voice. Oh. These are the top seven things from the Crocs Kitchen. That was a little overkill. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm Brian. And I'm Jessica. Today we are bringing you another list of things, but this time we are bringing you appliances from our kitchen. Last time we did gadgets mm -hmm. and tools. This time we are doing appliances. Now let me tell you, since we've been married, we have actually gotten a bunch of appliances. Yes. Beyond just the normal, like, oh, we have a toaster. Oh, we have this. Oh, we have that. Like, we just kind of kept accumulating things. We got a bunch of stuff for the wedding, got a bunch of stuff for presents, through birthdays, whatever it happens to be. We just got a lot of appliances. Yes, we were going to put them all out on here and film us with everything that we actually have as far as small kitchen appliances, but then it got just to be a little crazy. <laughs> yeah, so uh, in the link below, you will find sales to a button. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We're not actually selling anything. <laughs> But, I mean, if you offer a good price, we might give it to you. Yeah, we'll put them on eBay. <laughs> no, we have gotten a lot of appliances, like he said, for a lot of these are gifts. We did purchase everything in here with our own money or receive them as gifts from friends or family. We're not being paid to sell any of these things. Um, but we do like to give you guys the recommendations of at what we actually use. Because I feel like a lot of people buy all these kitchen appliances and never use them. <laughs> us uh, and then you know over the years it's changed what we use so this is specifically what we use on our whole food right plant-based diet right now like what we're actually using and getting a lot out of and in fact this list just changed a couple of days ago because we started getting a lot of use out of one that you'll see coming up so without further ado let us get to our top seven small kitchen appliances Number seven, Spice Grinder. Yes, starting out at the bottom of our list is our lovely small spice grinder. This thing is absolutely fantastic for grinding up any sort of spices or uh, mushrooms as we have stated before. Uh, you can also use it for coffee, which was its original purpose, but we don't use it for coffee. Yeah, we don't really drink coffee. But if you are going to buy one of these, get a separate one to use for your coffee and then another one to use for your spices so all your spices don't taste like coffee. That is true. <laughs> but I use this thing at least a couple times a week. It is a great little device for taking big things or even slightly bigger things and making them much, much smaller. Mm -hmm. Number six, Stand Mixer. Up next is our stand mixer, which I believe your parents gave us as a wedding gift. Yes, and I believe you wanted a completely different color that was girly and I banned it. <laughs> That's not true. Anyway, we actually have used this as a mixer quite a bit over the years, but lately what we've been using it for are some of these really cool attachments. Mm -hmm. So my brother for my birthday a few years ago gave me this spiralizer attachment and we like to make zucchini noodles out of it, AKA zoodles, which goes really well with like a nice marinara sauce or something like that. So it's been a really nice attachment. Yes, but mine is cooler. This is the vegetable sheet maker. This was given to me as a gift by Jessica's mother. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pam. So what you do is you cut your vegetables into a certain size and you put them into the sheet maker and then it spins around and it gives you these nice, huge, long sheets of vegetables, of fruits. It has two different thicknesses. It is an amazing thing to behold. We have used it to make things like vegetable lasagna for nice long lasagna noodles made from zucchini. Mm -hmm. And we've used it to uh, cut up an apple and then spread some cinnamon on it. And it's just super delicious, fantastic piece of equipment. Number five, Instant Pot. Yes, the Instant Pot, the near cult level small appliance in the modern kitchen. This one is an absolute beauty. 
Yeah, we actually, this is the, one of the newer ones to join our arsenal of small appliances. And we put it off for a while because I have anxiety and Brian tells me this thing can blow up and kill us all. It's a pressure <laughs> cooker. You should treat it with respect yes. the way you would treat something like the mandolin. It is something that if improperly used, can be dangerous. Well, anyway, it has, the reason we decided to get this one as a pressure cooker was that it has a lot of safety features and a lot of things to prevent. Even if you use it improperly, mm -hmm. there's a lot of safety features in there that prevent it from blowing up. Yep. Um, so don't let that scare you. But we actually haven't used this as much as we probably should. Um, it's very good at making beans, so we don't have to buy canned beans. We can do the dry beans and mm -hmm. make them a lot quicker. Um, we use it for rice. I know yes. you like to make brown rice in it. And we've made some some soups and stuff in here before, mm -hmm. or other things. But that is just a the, like the yeah. tip of the iceberg when it comes to how useful this item actually is. Mm -hmm. And we really need to go and use this thing a heck of a lot more than what we currently do. And I'm looking forward to trying them all out. I think over time, this one will move up on our list. Probably. Number four, food processor. Up next is our food processor. Yes. So this actually, before we got our Vitamix, we had like a decent kind of blender, but it wasn't that great. And what we found is a really good food processor actually can take the place of a high-speed blender in mm -hmm. most cases. So we did get a lot of use out of that, a little bit more use out of this before we had the Vitamix. But the thing I like to use it for is actually shredding up carrots. And I do that every week. I find that they stay a lot fresher if you shred them yourself. So there's a nice shredding blade attachment that comes with this and it will shred them in seconds just so quickly. It is an absolute workhorse in the kitchen and it can be used in so many different ways. Uh, I know that uh, certain other appliances can be super expensive. Generally, food processors aren't extremely expensive. They are very affordable. Uh, ours has been with us since our marriage mm -hmm. began, and it has been an absolute staple, even when we weren't eating our whole food plant-based diet. Number three, electric kettle. Yes, the electric kettle. I know some of you might be actually shocked by this one on our list. There's so many other great appliances that we could have picked, but you know what? I use this thing at least a couple times a day, if not more, because this thing is fantastic. You don't have to get a pot out to boil water. You don't have to stick it in a cup in the microwave or something like that. You just put the water in, you set it to boil, a couple minutes later, boiling water. We use this to make our stocks from our Better Than Bouillon. Mm -hmm. I use this to make tea every day. It's just great. Another great thing that we use it for is for when we water saute things. Yeah. Just heat up the water and you got it sitting right next to the stove. It's amazing. I love this thing. This thing has been through a lot with us. <laughs> And I ain't replacing it just because the lid broke. So the lid it's broke. still useful. <laughs> and the lid broke and it's supposed to go down and stay down. It broke, which makes me very fearful when he's boiling, but he tells me it's safe. Um, I like to live dangerously. <laughs> so if and when, when we have to replace this one, we do really like this model. It's been really nice. It can be lifted off from the base, the base and yeah. so it's cordless. Um, it's super, super nice. It has all these nice temperature controls oh, yes. that you can do on, on the side there. And it also beeps to let you know when it's done. Yeah. We will use this until it stops working. In fact, we use an electric kettle so much that we needed one with us when we travel. So this is the small travel electric kettle that we have. It is actually collapsible. You can't really tell. This thing's yes, rubber. It's rubber, so you can just collapse it and then it's extra small to put in your luggage. Boom. This is helpful for having in hotel rooms for those times when you don't have access to and you know, going out to eat or finding anything that will stick to your whole food plant-based lifestyle. You can just bring some like we have those McDougal yes. soups that we like to bring with us. And we just heat them, heat up some water in these in the hotel and then make some soup. And it's really convenient. Boom. Easy. Number two, the Griddler. 
Yes, the appliance that wasn't even on our list a couple weeks ago has risen through the ranks to take the number two spot. It is, of course, the Griddler. If you saw in our Hash Brown video, this thing came out as the supreme champion of hash brown making in the Croc household. Spoiler alert. It's amazing. <laughs> I've used this thing now to make vegetables. I've used it to grill tofu. I've used it secretly to make a chickpea pancake one time. What? Yes. When I, I was, wasn't here for that. I was experimenting again. Well, I didn't get a chickpea pancake. Yeah, it didn't really turn out great because I kind of messed up the ratios. But that's beside the point. I am absolutely loving this thing once again. It is fantastic. Look at this. Like, opens up. You can make it like grilled stuff right there. It's just, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Love this thing. We actually got this as a wedding gift and we've had it for, we made out really well during yeah, our wedding. Yeah, we did. We <laughs> um, apparently have some well-off uh, family yeah, members and nice friends. friends and family. <laughs> um, but we haven't used it a ton over the years, but it's been like just kind of the last few weeks we just got it out and we we're like, wow, this thing's actually super useful for a lot of the stuff that we're doing now. So. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really just an amazing appliance. I and like it because it's a griddle. You can fold it out flat and make it into a griddle. You can use the grill plates or you can use the flat plates. Yeah. It's very versatile. Yeah, it's it's simply uh, a great, great thing to have. As well as you can, uh, if you got like an RV or something like that, it's an amazing appliance because it basically functions as a flat top as well as a grill press. It's just phenomenal. And number one, the Crock-Pot. Yes, the Crock-Pot. What else would it be? We are the Crocs. Just kidding. Yeah. So we actually put this on here because when we got married and we were doing our registry, Brian told me, he's like, don't put a Crock-Pot on there. When my brother got married, everyone bought them Crock-Pots because people think it's hilarious to buy a Crock, a Crock-Pot. Yeah. But I did actually really want a Crock-Pot. So for my birthday, my wonderful brother, Nick, and sister-in-law, Mandy, bought us this Crock-Pot. And it has been actually really good over the years, although it did not make number one on our list. We do use it quite a bit and we love it. And the real number one, the Vitamin. Yes, our top small appliance is the Vitamix. Hands down, number one on the list. Yes, we have used this in several of our other videos. We use it about once or twice a week to make hummus and it makes it so creamy, it's kind of ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, we use it for our banana and ice cream. We use it to make smoothies. Yep. You can make your own almond milk, almond butter, any kind of nut milk or butter. You can make all kinds of stuff with this. She says foreshadowing future oh. videos. <gasps> So this has been super useful. We actually purchased this model it specifically because it has these other cups that you can actually adapt on here. So you take this blade and you take, this is the smoothie cup here. You can attach it on there. And then you can use a smaller cup with your blender, which is super cute and nice. And boom, one smoothie just for you to go pop it off, unscrew this, put that lid back on, and you are walking around with your smoothie like you're a cool hipster. <laughs> There's also these tiny little baby cups, which are just so cute. So the same blade will fit on there, and then you just adapt it on here, and look how cute that baby thing is. Yep. You can make a little bit of salsa, you can make a small, just one serving of nice cream. You can do all kinds of stuff with that. Yep. I use it sometimes to make like single batches of salad dressing when I'm wanting to experiment a little with mm -hmm. that. Also, I mean, you can put stuff in here and just let it run and it'll heat it up. And so you've mm -hmm. got piping hot soup just in the blender alone. But my one tip is I did a lot of research because we put off buying this for a while because we didn't know if we would use it. We had another blender, it broke. Um, and we decided to invest in this as a Christmas gift to ourselves last year, but we put it off for a while and I was looking into refurbished or not refurbished. I'm not a refurbished kind of girl. <laughs> like, she likes new things. I like things new. Um, but I put a lot of research into it and 
Vitamix does like a 17 or something crazy point inspection on these. This is all, the cup and blade are all new and the base is the only thing that's actually like refurbished. Mm -hmm. um, they inspect it, they put a five year warranty on this particular model, even the refurbished one. Um, so if you're gonna buy directly through Vitamix, check out the refurbished ones. You can save a ton of money and it's, you know, it may not even have been used more than a week by somebody and just returned because they didn't like the color or yep. who knows what else. Anyway, a Vitamix or you can find other high-speed blenders, but we love this one and we get so much use out of it that it's definitely our number one pick. Absolutely, hands down, number one. So there you have it. These are the top seven small appliances that we use in our kitchen, and I thought it was a good list. Yes, it's definitely a good list. Are they all necessary? Nope. Probably not but they have certainly made our whole food plant-based lifestyle a lot more fun and easy. Yep. Be sure to let us know if there's anything on our list that you actually know and love and use, or if there is something that isn't on our list that you think we should own, don't tell us we don't need to buy anything else. I'm sorry. But please let us know in the comments, or you can find us on all of the, of the social media platforms that are out there. Just search for Crocs in the Kitchen. That is Crocs with a K. Also, please subscribe and click that little bell that is right next to it. It'll let you know every single time that we post a new video. That's all I've got. That's all she's got. That's all Oliver and Scout have. And that's all Peef has too. <laughs> we will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye-bye. Bye. It's time to find out, will Peef blend? No!